There's a great cartoon that I saw once, and I think it kind of answers the question as to how the ADA helps all people. And it's uh, a schoolboy who is outside of his school. It's snowing outside, so there's a pile of snow, and the facilities folks are outside shoveling, but they're shoveling a sidewalk. And this little boy says, can you shovel the ramp? And, and the person says, I'm sorry, you know, don't you see all these other kids need to get in? And the young boy says, but if you shovel the ramp, we can all get in. The Americans with Disabilities Act is landmark civil rights legislation. It dramatically changed the landscape for how communities are organized, how employment is accessible. It really made a huge difference. For example, when I needed to use the subway or the Long Island Railroad, there are different tracks there. There is no information available for me to see which track goes to my area. So I had to get the attention of a person who works there and ask via writing which track do I go on to get to my stop. Communication was often hard. And instead of writing back, the man would speak to me and point in a general direction. It was not always clear what to do. So I very often found myself on the wrong track and ending up in the wrong town. I was being bussed up the hill to a different school because that was the only school in my neighborhood that was marginally accessible. At that time, there was no um, ADA. There was no, you know, no real access at the university. Lots of the buildings were inaccessible. Without the work of those that have come before us, none of this, like none of this would have been possible. You know, folks that were doing this work when the, there was no opportunity. Uh, we were very ex excited for the rock. You know, we were ecstatic. We saw, you know, hope for the first time. It's helped me with everything in my life. It's helped me um, with employment. It's helped me with uh, accessibility. It, it's helped me with health care. Well, I would say ADA has helped me in my life because I travel so much and making it accessible like doorway entrances and having a wheelchair entrance to get into buildings and places is huge. I've been able to travel all over the country because the ADA made everything more accessible. All new construction is great and a lot of it's universal design. It's made for everybody. The same ramp that I used to get into, you know, a small business would be really useful for, for the guy that blew out his ACL as a weekend warrior basketball player or it would be really great for the new mom of twins. Because one of the main benefits for people who are deaf after the passage of the ADA was the requirement that communication be accessible for everyone. This includes adding visual signs along the tracks for people who may not hear the audio information. So I actually got to experience my whole life with the ADA in place, which I find really fortunate. It would have been challenging to go through school without the ADA in place, for sure. I need um, extra time for testing just because of uh, like my hands and my motor function. Um, and just having that ability to say, I can do this test just fine. I just need a little bit extra time to get it done without having those guidelines or you know these laws in place. That wouldn't have happened, I'm sure. I have an IEP in school, which helps me with a lot of things. I'm able to go to school with other people, and I can do a lot of things that other people can do. I've been very privileged at my, especially my four-year college that I work for. I've developed a number of courses ranging from disability history and disability theory by having a, a novel that they read that brings disability to light. And this gives students a way of incorporating disability into their college experience. It has allowed me to um, pursue career opportunities that without the ADA, I probably would have had a much more challenging time pursuing. 
every single day, um, professionally and personally, um, impacted by the ADA. And while there's been tremendous strides in 30 years that have been made, I realize that there, like any uh, civil rights movement, is that there's still progress to be made. Whether you're advocating for an individual or for systems change, for towns to put in curb cuts, for parking, for you know individuals, just access, just freedom. People need to realize that they're not alone in this battle. You have people fighting for you. And the disability movement, right, that deserves, you know, just as much force and power behind it because there's 30 million in the U.S. that are dealing with some sort of mobility disability. You know, we all have, have should have equal rights as well. New Jersey has really said we need to make sure that people have the rights that they deserve. And so um, that means they have access to school that meets their need. That means they have access to employment that meets their needs. And that it means something to us as New Jerseyans to make sure that an inclusive community is who we are and what we stand for. But I also hope that 30 years from now, the ADA is actually a part of our lives. Not just people with disabilities, the part of all of Americans' lives that truly is part of the fabric of how we do business and how we do community and how we do society um, in ways that really, I guess, value humans, uh, all humans. Hey everybody, Governor Phil Murphy here. It is my great honor and privilege to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the signing of the Americans with Disabilities Act. If you have ever had a classmate or a colleague with a disability, you have no doubt witnessed a person with an incredible amount of drive, passion, and talent. You have no doubt been inspired by them. And it is for the benefit of our society as a whole that we pursue a fairer and stronger New Jersey, inclusive of all people with all levels of ability. So let's make sure that today is not just a day that we commemorate the signing of a piece of legislation. It is a day of renewed commitment, both public and personal, to make sure that our family members, friends, neighbors, and all fellow New Jerseyans with disabilities, visible and invisible, are valued, included, and respected. God bless you all.